the Saeed Musashi uh, BGA Cooler benchmark video, but before that, uh, more computer problems. Going caseless again. That was because a little incident this morning. So yesterday, I sold that silver case on mine, and I got this case here. And then uh, put everything in. Everything works okay for the night. And this morning, I woke up, went onto uh, internet. All of a sudden, it shut down. Ever since then you would randomly restart the cell so it looks like something short of the four or you know something like that and so I couldn't find the real reason I was looking around examining the area I just couldn't find the real reason why is it doing that but when they take it out of the case it works fine so uh, I had to put it back to the case was set up that I had a while ago and it seems to be working just right little modest switch little power switch and the um, GPU pin uh, speed controller and then that's the uh, USB from panel to get out of some other case long ago. And so that's that for now until I can report case. Okay, so we have firmware stability test running at default settings which is 1280 times 1020 and 1028 and uh, running in window mode so we can monitor the temperature properly even though Burma does have detecting temperatures and all for it in some settings it seems to be a little different than uh, what it shows on the uh, ATI driver or the uh, uh, the uh, Everest and that noise is my cat Cheating heat. Very, very annoying and nice. She just goes on and on and on with that noise. Stop it. Stop it. Good, she's all in the room. It's not that loud anymore. Two minutes, 48 degrees Celsius. I think I'm going to let it run for, say, five minutes. Yeah, Everest shows right now 48, 49 degrees Celsius, the same thing as uh, what Overdrive shows. And over here it's also showing 45 degrees, sorry, 49 degrees Celsius. 
Although, his minimum is 44 degrees Celsius. Uh, that was because I run a few tests right before uh, running thermal. So, the real idle temp is actually 40 degrees Celsius. Two hundred seconds. One hundred seconds to go to make five minutes. Oh God, she's back. Busy. Busy, say hi. Anyway, the temperature seems to stop at uh, fifty degrees. There you can see the slope of the temperature changes. Actually I wonder if it's actually running at the uh, high GPU load because the 10 degree difference seems to be a little small at those kind of uh, graphic cards. Even if you have aftermarket um, cooler on it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now that's 49 degrees Celsius. Unload a depot at uh, uh, window mode. So now we're going to run. Okay, so that was that. And we're going to run a window mode benchmark. See if it actually make any difference. 48 degrees Forty-nine degrees This is 49 degrees. Well, this is the same method that I use uh, when I was doing the uh, Arctic cooling twin turbo VGA cooler, and um, the result seems to be pretty good. Um, the idle temperature is 40 degrees Celsius, and then uh, on the low temperature, five minutes low temperature, it's at uh, 48, 49 degrees Celsius. And then that we just ran the benchmark for a typical benchmark, except for in window mode that we can monitor temperature, and uh, it's giving me uh, 49 degrees Celsius. So that is actually a pretty good result. Um, it's really hard to monitor TPU. Uh, uh, temperatures when you're running out of software because I can't really think of anything that will uh, record the GPU temperature while you're stressing it and the uh, thermal doesn't want to work properly when you run the stability test on the burning mode the image just doesn't seem to be moving and um, yeah so uh, that's about that at least it gives you a general idea um, if this cooler can perform well or not and uh, hopefully that can help you out. Thanks for watching.